My name is Mallory Solomon and I am one of the founders of Salam Hello, a hand-woven Moroccan rug business. We're currently in Marrakesh, Morocco, where I live full-time. Being in Morocco was a catalyst to me diving deeper into the passion I had around architecture and interior design. And I really wanted to immerse myself into the culture of artists and crafts. I wanted you to know the exact artisan who made your rug, the story that was told through the design, how long it took, all the materials that went into it. And in collaboration with uh, my partner in Morocco, Abdelatif Moussin, we go to villages that have a deep-rooted history in the weaving craft. When we're there, we, we talk to the locals and we understand where the women that are still weaving, the associations of groups of women that are still weaving are. And when we go there, we really get to know them. The process of making a Moroccan handmade carpet is very intricate and every step of the way is intentional. It starts with the wool. Every animal gets shaved by a local shepherd. It usually happens in the months of April and May, right before the really hot summer months here. One of the things that is different about Salam Hello is we don't buy pre-spun wool from markets. We have the artisans themselves brush and card and spin the wool all by hand. And what that allows the wool to do is be super strong. So the rugs are quite durable and can withstand the test of time. Then it's time for the dyeing. We strive for all of our wool to be dyed with natural vegetation and plants around the villages themselves. So that could be saffron for the deep hues of orange and yellow. The next step is to set up the loom. The first step in setting up the loom is putting a stake in the ground. They start that process by putting a tiny piece of sugar on top of that pole. And when they hit the sugar down, it's thought to give the loom itself and eventually the carpet protection against evil. Once the loom is set up, it's now time to start weaving. And that happens knot by knot. In a hand knot rug, there could be up to 52,000 knots in one rug. It can take anywhere from two weeks to a year to create the final rug. It also all depends on the design itself. For one-of-a-kind rugs, the design comes solely from the woman's imagination. And it's usually infused with symbols that are deep-rooted in the Amazon culture. The customized rugs are based off either designs that we have sold previously in the one-of-a-kind collection that people really gravitate towards, or new designs that we've made in collaboration with the artisans, interior designers, and, and, and artists all around the world. The community of artisans that we've been able to establish have really become our, our extended family within the country. Each village specializes in a different weaving technique. For instance, the Southeast, they really specialize in flat weaves and handbells and Zenafi. In the Middle Atlas Mountains, the villages that we work with there specialize in the Beniorin, the really plush rugs with a thicker, thicker wool and a thicker pile. What we ultimately want for our customers is to have a truly deep connection with the rug beyond the look and feel of the product. We want them to know the story behind the textile and the human on the other side of the supply chain.